Time now for our Bloomberg Quick Take, where we provide context and background on issues of interest. Today we're looking at the Supreme Court. President Donald Trump has nominated Neil Gorsuch to the U.S. Supreme Court. Conservatives are now betting Gorsuch will be a worthy disciple to the late Antonin Scalia and won't veer to the left like some previous Republican nominees. The Supreme Court, the U.S.'s top judicial body, is made up of justices that remain on the court until voluntary retirement or death. This vacancy on the court, though, has raised concerns that partisan politics is tainting the Supreme Court's work. Here's the situation. The court's decisions on issues, including race relations and presidential reach, have become more polarized in recent years, and SCOTUS's public approval rating is sliding. President Trump called for Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg to resign after she said that during the presidential campaign, she didn't want to think about the prospect of a Trump presidency. Ginsburg then said she regretted her, quote, ill-advised comments. Former President Obama nominated Merrick Garland to the Supreme Court to replace Justice Antonin Scalia, who died unexpectedly about a year ago. Republican lawmakers, though, were determined not to let Garland take Scalia's place. Nominees by Republican presidents have controlled the nine-member court since 1969. Here's the background. The Supreme Court was established in 1789 and its decisions have frequently shifted the nation's political direction. From Brown versus Board of Education in 1954, which desegregated public schools, to Roe versus Wade in 1973, which legalized abortion in every state. Here's the argument. Supporters of lifetime tenure say the Supreme Court allows the views of justices to evolve far from the ideologies of the presidents who named them with no fear of retribution. Critics note that the court lacks external supervision, so there's no recourse when justices appear to violate ethics laws or hear cases in which they have conflicts of interest. Reformers say one solution is term limits. Either way, the Supreme Court is now front and centre in US politics.